Hi beauty fam, I thought I would try something different today. I thought I would try to do a mini vlog, a video log. I am away this weekend in the Northwest uh, for a little vacation, a staycation. And yeah, I thought I'd talk about a little bit of where we are, what we're doing, and then a little bit of skincare. So here is my pup who is cuddling with me in a reading nook. We are staying in a very tiny house in the woods for our staycation here. And so it is meant to be a reading nook and a slash work area bench. And so kind of cuddling here with the dog. I have my cup of matcha, which I made here. And yeah, this is what it looks like outside here in the Northwest. And just doing a local vacation because just keeping everything safe and local. Pup, pup. That's my pup. He's a mini Australian Labradoodle, about 22 pounds. And we got him before COVID. So he's been a really great addition uh, during the pandemic. So, and a great, great, great family dog. And just the right size if you don't like big dogs or don't prefer to have a big dog but he's about 20 to 25 pounds and his name is what's your name puppy his name is Zooey yep and he loves to cuddle and has lots and lots of naps and the hair is actually not um, a fur is not what I've been told it's more like hair and so he has a wavy coat and it does require brushing quite often because as the longer it gets, it gets uh, dreaded. And so we just have to be um, on his fur to brush it out. But I have allergies, so he doesn't really shed at all. So he's been great. Otherwise we wouldn't be able to have a dog. And so let me show you a little bit of this tiny house. And so I'm in the reading nook and I'm gonna pan right. And this actually, this tiny house has wheels, but it doesn't move. It's on a, situated on a piece of property. So for anyone who's lived in New York, it reminds me a bit like a railroad apartment where it just goes long horizontally. And so there's two chairs. This is the living area. You can see the washer dryer to the left and beyond that here is the kitchen and actually let me get up and walk around so you can see and these are tables or pieces of wood that go up for eating and cooking and prep or functional space here's the kitchen very very tiny and right now I'm kind of using a fisheye lens, so you can see it looks a little bit bigger than it actually is. A smaller fridge, enough for a microwave, a closet, a tiny, tiny sleeping nook or sleeping nook, or you could use it as storage. And there's actually storage underneath capability down here. A very tiny bathroom with a shower. Very tiny but it's very cozy. So it's a little bit of the property we're staying in. And it has a multi-use shed, this tiny sink. And so you come out again to this area and there is, you can see the dog in the nook I was actually in. So that we call that the reading nook. So he's pretty cuddly there. It comes with AC and heater. And up here is the loft. And here's the upper loft with the queen size bed and a vanity area. I took it from the Airbnb listing because it's pretty messy now. So I just thought I'd show you what it looks like in clean, pristine conditions. So definitely very cozy. And this is what the tiny house looks like from the outside. So we're in the middle of the woods and the tiny house does not move. So it's really cute. So I thought I would show some of the things I packed for skincare. As some people are beginning to travel more, I thought it'd be fun or interesting at least to show what I'm packing for travel and how I do it. 
And then I actually, I actually don't have makeup on today. I might do it later and do some filming, but the uh, one thing I will not do without is definitely skincare every day. And here's the dog wrapped up in my blanket, actually. <laughs> I meant it to be my blanket, now he absconded with it. Okay, so here is my skincare pack and the pup falling asleep. And I just reuse a lot of my bags. We I get a lot of beauty bags, but I get why having a clear bag is great so you can actually see what's in it. But I designated this as my skincare bag because if anything happens to leak, then I can easily wipe it down. So I got this bag from Caudalie, which is a French cosm uh, French skin company. Um, I used to use a lot more of their products and I've branched out through the years. So this is everything that I bring for my skincare and a little extra things. And I start, I'm just going to randomly pull things. So as we're getting into spring, summer, I'm definitely not traveling without sunscreen and this is actually a new purchase. So this is the Supergroup Unseen Sunscreen with SPF 40. I do like it. It's a broad spectrum sunscreen, SPF 40 PA++++, water and sweat resistant for 40 minutes. Now I am not an expert of chemical versus natural sunscreen. You can do your research on that. I'm just here to show you what I have. Weightless, colorless, scentless, oil-free formula for face and leaves behind a velvety soft finish. I do use this a bit like a primer. I used to use the Chantecaille primer or sunscreen and that was much more expensive. So I'm trying this out this season and seeing if it works well. So I'll put that up here. Okay, what else do I have? And here I have the Augustine and Spotter Rich Cream with TCF, TFC8 trademark. And I got a chance before I went on this trip to talk to the Augustinus Botter sales associate at Nordstrom and learned a little bit more about this brand that this is actually started by a scientist, has been doing research on skincare for over 30 years. And he actually started this pharmaceutical line to help burn victims as they recovered with their skin. So I thought that was interesting knowing the science behind the skincare line. So this is not pharmaceutical grade. I think after 30 years, they decided to make a product that was one marketable for mass consumer, but with that same science behind what it's supposed to do. So uh, there's no stem cells in here, but I think that uh, what she said was that the science of the idea about stem cells were utilized in this formula so kind of like the idea that uh this and i'm not a scientist but i think what she described it to me was that an, enabling the skin to heal itself so i thought that was interesting so i've been trying this rich cream i also had a, a small version of the just the regular cream which is lighter and she said the lighter cream is for those who are trying to do brightening and it's it's a lighter formula where this is more repairing and a little more a little bit more rich so i've heard more things about the rich cream and having faster efficacy so i went ahead and bought this is actually the mini and this is 89 dollars, which is super pricey i had and so if you've seen my what's in my cart video i actually had this to buy again for 20 percent off but um, I actually changed two items that I did not end up purchasing on the Sephora cart. And that's the funny thing. That's why I like doing the videos of what's in my cart because you can add things or you can take things out. So I did not end up buying this again because it's so spendy. And I just want to finish one bottle truly before I actually spend another uh, large amount of money with this. But so far, so good. I'm trying that out, but I've definitely seen really fast effects with that. Okay, what else is in here? I always travel with Arnica gel just for aches and pains and bruises. I really, again, I have a thing for gel just because it doesn't, lotion does, tends to leave a tack behind, but this is a brand I always have in my purse or when I'm traveling, it's Arnica gel. You can buy this at even Trader Joe's or most of uh, drugstores and even 
I think even grocery stores I've seen this. So I love Arnica's. If you have aches and pains or bruising, this is what works wonderfully. So uh, muscle pain and stiffness. I love that. So that's always in my kit. What else do I have here? Aha. Uh -huh. So did not want to travel without this. So, so far, the, my holy grail eye under eye creams are from Sisley. And I've talked a lot about this in my skincare videos that... I love this eye contour mask, reduces fine lines and puffiness, and it's also a gel. So I actually use this at night as my night cream. Um, I do like it more than the other packaging. I just like, I tend to like tubes because they're just easier to travel with. And I can also see how much I have left. And this Augustinus Botter made the cut because it's a small bottle. And if I were to get on a flight, I think it'd be okay. Yes, it's 0.5 fluid ounces. So I just wish, I mean, they're all about luxury beauty. So it's, I mean, it is glass, but it's tolerable for traveling. What else do I have in here? Ah, and so I did bring some masks and this is a pore clearing clay mask with super volcanic clusters and is free. And I'm trying to see if I can open this one hand. It's basically clay. I like to bring clay just so I can do a mask on my pores. I tend to do masks on my nose just because that's where my biggest pores are, where I get congestion. So this is actually a sample and it's been lasting me uh, well over six months. So I love it. It's a great small, small size. And I think, yeah, I think after I'm done with this, I'd probably buy the, the smallest, the smallest bottle or smallest jar just so I could have a travel amount ready to go and then one at home. And so what I try to do actually is like when I travel, I try not to mess what's in here, like that it's ready to go. But there are some items in here that are on my current use shelf, but the rest of the um, items I try to leave in here so I can grab and go. I always bring an acne treatment, spot treatment. So this is my tried and true. I know it's not luxury beauty, but it's definitely just, I mean, it does the job. And I just always have a Neutrogena on the spot acne treatment for any acne that bubbles up <laughs> during a trip and that can happen because if we end up going out to eat sometimes it's usually food related when I get acne or hormonal so this usually gets rid of the acne within one to three days and I just do a spot treatment I just love that and if you have an acne treatment let me know but I've been using that oh yes called delay so <laughs> This is my evening serum, and this is a brightening serum, but in a natural way. So this is the, this is likely the most popular product they're known for. Cordele, the Vino Perfect Serum, is a radiance serum that you can use uh, morning or evening, and you put it on your face, neck, and decollete before the cream. And it's known to be brightening, not and not lightening, but I want to say brightening, and also. It claims to reduce hyper hyperpigmentation and um, spots over time. And so I've been using this for two years. And this is one thing I have not changed in my routine that I, unless it gets dethroned, I love this. I actually also mix this with some foundations. And I want more glow or healthy shine in my foundation. So I actually love to cocktail this. So this is definitely probably out of everything in this bag. This might be the oldest skincare product that I've been using in my regimen. Okay, what else is in here? Oh, I have this travel little bottle and actually what's in here? It's the Kiehl's, uh, that yellow cream core. It's basically the body lotion and I put that in here for a body and I just, that's a to-go container so you can get those at any drugstore, a travel size. Bumble and Bumble shampoo dry shampoo so this is a ways to just get the grease out of your hair if you're having two or three day hair without showering and I usually travel with this it just does the job I actually try not to wash my hair every day it's like every two or three days and this helps with curbing the oiliness on the scalp I cannot live without this I actually have a big aerosol can of this and since aerosol is not practical to travel with, I actually have one of these on hand in my bags. Just like, just like the Arnica, I will have that with me usually at all times. Okay, so what else is in here? Aha, uh -huh. oh, I like to put a lot of sample packs in here of products that I've used before. I won't put in tr 
sample packs of things I have not used because I don't want to risk having a reaction and say like I just say I got a sample for face cream and it didn't work out and then I'm stuck six days using lotion or not using lotion that I'm having a breakout or a reaction to. If you purchase products through Sisley directly, they often put in samples. Or if you have an essay that you work with, they will give you samples. So this is for dry skin, dry skin body cream. And I just put that in there because I've used it. And just in case I run out of my Kiehl's body cream, I have that in there. And I'll pull out these two so you can see. So this is the Zip Face tool and it has microcurrents and I have not done a review on this yet because I'm still reviewing it so it's Z-I-I-P and I ended up getting this last year when there was a sale I believe it might have been a 20 or 30 percent off sale at the end of the year and I used a code from Michelle Wong and I am starting to use more beauty tools and I can do a video on this but I don't want to say too much because I'm going to save it for the review but uh, I'm traveling with it and it's rechargeable. Uh, it comes with, um, depending on which package you get, you, it comes with a gel that's for lubricating the microcurrents that you should put on your face. So that the mild electric charge will, the instrument will, these parts here, these conduct really, any, a scale from one to three, I think, of intensity of the electric charge to work out your face. So I tend to just do the lowest intensity because the other ones are a little bit too intense for me. But in here is the the gel for the um, that you put on your face with that zip. And what else is in here? Oh, this is actually repurposed jar and it's glass. In here is Caudalie salic salicylic acid face wash. So this is the second part of my routine of washing my face. So I'll either use micellar water or the Biologic Recherche Milk Cleanser to take off my makeup. And then the second part of my routine is using this gel cleanser to remove off any remaining residue, but also helping get rid of any acne. So I use that and that, that's a, definitely a product I've been on repeat. So the jar does not correlate to the the product. The salic salicylic acid gel cleanser is actually in a tube that's similar to that but it's it's actually quite large so there was no way I was gonna, going to bring that with me so I'll keep that up there okay what else is in here Let's see what for last okay so I have two little samples this is the mask vivant by biologic recherche and it's probably one of their most popular masks. It is the one that has, I want to say it has some sort of yeast in there, an active ingredient, and it's the color of chocolate. It smells like banana bread. And you put it on, it's supposed to balance and help with acne. I find it still to be on, I'm on the fence still about it. I think it helps with congestion, like future congestion, but... Um, it's just so thick of a paste that I only use it if I'm going to take a shower right after. But I might put this on before I take a shower during my little trip here. And what else is in here? Oh, I have a little sample from Sisley Velvet Nourishing Cream with Saffron Flowers. And this is probably my favorite face cream of Sisley that helped build up my my uh, dermal barrier on my face. So I don't travel without this. And I have a bunch of these samples. So I like to travel with this size because a little goes a long way. So I love that. That's also one of my Sisley, one of my holy grails in my routine. What else do I have here? Oh, I also love this one. Uh, the Sisley All Day, All Year Essential Anti-Aging Day Care Cream. Now, I think they just reformulated this. I actually really love this cream. However, the price has really deterred me from buying it. It's just, it's even, this is much more affordable, that saffron cream, than this. I think it's because it's anti-aging. And I think the jar is, the tube or the jar is about two or $300. So I've been just using samples that I get. And I think it is a fantastic cream. But um, I just use the samples and I have not bought a full size just because the cost is just prohibitive for me. Here we go. Oh, the Velvet Sleeping Mask with Saffron Flowers. Another beautiful mask if your skin is needing some love and you're dehydrated. I actually use this at night 
So this is my night cream that I use. Super gentle. Um, I have a little sample of Chantecaille. Yeah, the Jasmine and Lily healing mask. Another healing mask, which is great. So if I'm having... I'll do, I like doing masks on vacation, but if moreover, if I'm having a breakout or inflammation, I will put that on my face. If I can remember, I'll put it in the refrigerator or freezer for 10 minutes and then put it on my face for some cooling. And then I have two random jars here, which are repurposed. So in here, I used a Chantecai eye cream. I repurposed it to put my actual Sisley eye contour cream in there. I used to use the Chantecai cream, and I found that it was way too oily for me and disturbing the contacts that I was wearing. So I stopped using that product. So that's what I mean by eye cream is a little bit fussy for me to use. I want it to work, and then it can't disturb my sensitive eyes, and I'm a contact lens wearer, so, and have oily lids, so I think that was a bad combo with me with for Chantecaille. I loved it otherwise, because I think it had caffeine, and it was worked, worked really well, so if you're not, if you don't have oily eyelids, and you don't have contacts, I would recommend that, but, so I've been using the Sisley eye cream. Okay, I've been using the Sisley eye cream, which is this one, the Sislia eye lip and cream contour so you can put that around your lips but it's meant for really around the eyes and what I remember is that she said I could even put it on top on the my lids which I try not to do if I'm going to do makeup that day but I have a bunch of samples of these probably about 10 so I like to travel with them just as like in case for backup so I have that sensitive skin so if I'm having an inflammation of rosacea this is the one that works really well in calming everything down so this is this is what it looks like it's very thick i think there's like think uh, i think i'm gonna say there's marshmallow in it and it just helps with inflammation so i don't travel without that i actually have a, a jar of that on hand so i love keeping jars especially that size because they're great to travel with the thing is a one has to remember what you put in the jar. So I just, part of it, I try to remember what's in the jars as, as a game for myself for, for testing my memory. So that's, that's what I have for my skincare. And I think that's it. There's like a comb I use for, you know, doing the hair. I randomly packed, I washed these brushes before I left just randomly. So I need to put that back in my actual correct case and then this is for like period stuff yeah it's a natural painkiller it's essential oils so you can use that for your period pain back neck legs and what's in it i forget lila's wellness i got it on amazon i want to say it's things like it looks it's like menthol and whatnot it's based on essential oils but i randomly had that <laughs> in here but i also like it because it acts as a barrier between things. It kind of separates things. So you can see that probably needs a wipe down. But that's that's all the products I have right here of my travel kit. So I'm curious if you are traveling or you have a bag of skincare that you travel in your purse. What are the things that you cannot live without like product wise that you make sure is in your travel bag or in your purse as you are going out throughout the day. We'd love to hear. Take care.